All right, uh, we got a few minutes for celebrity gossip. Let's talk Lil Nas X. I love me some Lil Nas X. He got asked by the Teletubbies if they can be featured on his next album. And Lil Nas X said, I bet me and Tinky Winky on the hook, Dipsy and Poe on the verses, and we'll let Lala do the outro. What do you think about this Lil Nas X Teletubbies uh, collaboration, Andrew? I cannot wait. If he's not trolling us and it's real, I cannot wait to see all those supposed Christians with their crap. <laughs> yeah, you know, I did not even know the Teletubbies still existed. I thought they were canceled a long time ago, but apparently they're still relevant now. That baby's still in the sun. And also, I guess, you know, because you, you probably, uh, uh, like, you know, growing up, I heard all these rumors about, like, oh, the Teletubbies are gay, the Teletubbies are gay. And uh, Lil Nas X is also part of the LGBTQ community. So, I mean, I don't know. Do you think that because of that connection that they're collaborating, possibly, the, the Teletubbies and Lil Nas X? Possibly. I mean, the Teletubbies, if they were gay, they were just little jelly beans running around just doing kid stuff. Yeah. So... I mean, I guess it could work out. I got the song stuck in my head. Uh, what was it like? It was Tinky Winky, La La, Po. Like, it was, <laughs> I, I, I love it. I love it. I, I forgot all the names, but uh, yeah, it was like it was literally just reciting their names in a very, um, uh, in a very, uh, in a very delicate fashion. That's what I'll say. A very delicate fashion. Yeah, very delicate. And Poe was the first girl with a Birkin bag. So. Ooh. I didn't even know Pearl was a girl. I got, I got, I got to, I got to rewatch my Teletubbies. You gotta watch. It's probably hard cutting edge television. Yeah, I guess. <laughs>